the short track is proven technology developed over time that's kept pace with the changes in technology and data sharing. Today, the short track technology is deployed across multiple military test ranges. It's being used at a number of different sites for marine domain awareness and security, even on ships where it's being used on objects in motion to uh, look at the environment uh, around those vessels. This is all brought together through our data management center in Lexington Park, Maryland, where we're able to take these different data feeds, ingest them, filter them, and create a specific visualization for different user groups. So as you can see, there's a number of different locations and different configurations of the hardware and software. Of late, in the last few years, we've been able to take these advantages that have developed with SureTrack uh, over the last decade or more and be able to provide new capabilities to our allies in Africa, along the coastal nations, where we're helping them to do everything from uh, rescue fishermen uh, lost at sea to combat piracy, poaching, and so on. You see a number of countries uh, in which we're working today, along with the U.S. State Department, Navy, AFRICOM, and others, to be able to create safe seaports for both U.S. ships and for uh, the, the nationals in each of these countries to continue to advance uh, their maritime systems developed for the Delaware Information Analysis Center uh, a mobile platform with maritime radar, AIS, and camera to help them monitor along their shoreline. This was essential because of the uh, difficulty uh, installing fixed towers along the Delaware shoreline. So we worked together with the, uh, the folks from the center and came up with the idea to develop a mobile platform. This platform can be used in uh, critical spots where they know there's something going on or could be used to help determine uh, where those uh, choke points are by moving that uh, mobile platform around. And then if they find a, uh, a place where it's necessary, they might be able to look at a fixed power location there. We're now looking at the data management center, the DMC, that is part of our managerial mobility. What we mean by that term is that we're able to bring in uh, data sources from around a particular region, in this case, the uh, Delmarva and surrounding states, uh, and we're able to filter it and uh, ingest it and make sure that the visualizations that are going back out to the different user groups, in fact, represent their particular needs for information without overwhelming them with unnecessary data. In the graphic you're looking at, you see uh, systems that are already in place in blue and projected systems in yellow uh, that we're in the process of building or making arrangements with now. So the point of the DMC is to create a true regional capability that covers the major waterways, major seaports, as well as provides the same kind of coverage to commercial folks in the utilities industry, in, in particular from this slide, uh, nuclear power as well as uh, liquid natural gas, all there are sharing the same zone with uh, recreational boating, uh, fishing, and uh, the Naval Air Station. The slide that we're looking at represents the vision that we've been working towards since the event uh, of September 11th. Bringing data in from numerous sensors and then feeding that data out to other users is benefiting everyone, whether it's maritime safety, transportation safety, or, or many other applications. Slide it has a number of existing sensors. The orange uh, shapes are showing existing sensors primarily at the Tuxedo River Naval Air Station in the center of the slide. There's also existing radars at the Naval Surface Weapons Center in Dahlgren, uh, up at the Potomac Basin Security System, where Reagan National is sharing data with other military installations, uh, and two radars are up at the Aberdeen Army Test Center. That data is available to be brought into the data center and then shared back out to clients in the field who would have other potential uses for it. For example, the Maryland Department of Natural Resources might want to monitor fishing, uh, may want to monitor fisheries or fishing uh, limits, uh, search and rescue, is certainly an application for this. 
Uh, and the fact that SureTrack data is all recorded permits a lot of forensic analysis to be uh, used in the event that there are incidents or accidents on the waters. The yellow dotted lines point to uh, data sharing with uh, agencies that are not existing at the moment. Uh, we're not pumping data to the Confederate uh, down in Norfolk, nor to Baltimore, nor to the uh, Divic or the Rock. We are uh, sharing data with the DIAC with their new mobile uh, maritime uh, portable surveillance system. But as you can see, in the, the ability to share that data uh, with not only the various user agencies, but the other interested agencies such as emergency management centers, captains of the port, uh, those little blue boxes show where data could go uh, and will go, I suspect, very shortly as we develop and finish up the WebCop on the track web browsing capability. For example, we're in the process now in Delaware of working with some private chemical plant operators who want some sensors established which will share that information with the DIAC. I mean, the cold point is another example where, um, you know, the liquid natural gas plant is using the information for their um, surveillance of their offshore terminal. They're sharing that with the, the Calgary County Police Department, but the Navy is also, you know, so there's, there's a, a flow back and forth information. Over the history of the SureTrack program, we've had the opportunity to integrate a number of different sensors, and, and that's one of our primary uh, skill sets is the uh, rapid integration of new sensor technology. Recently, we've had the opportunity to develop a mobile platform to meet a specific need in the state of Delaware. The desire to monitor areas along the shore uh, without creating fixed towers uh, led us to the development of this mobile platform, uh, utilizing a very lightweight and efficient shelter uh, with air conditioning, uh, with an extensible 60-foot antenna that gets the radar and the AIS up to get a look out of about uh, 10 to 12 miles into the waterway. Now, this platform has enabled the state of Delaware to monitor important areas like the Port Mahan uh, oil terminal, bringing fuel in for the Dover Air Force Base, and also to take a look out to the Anchorage area uh, where the possibility of drug runners moving in and out of the vessels permits them to monitor traffic moving in, on, in and out of that area. The data from this system is be currently being transmitted by a 3G wireless card uh, back to the DIAC. The next slide we'll look at has to do with software mobility. It's one thing to be able to gather all the information from these many different sources, filter them, analyze them, and be able to provide a, a particular visualization. But then the challenge becomes getting the information to the people who need it in a timely basis without overwhelming them with data. To that end, we've created SureTrack Web Common Operating Picture, or WebCOP, uh, that you see before you now. The point of this visualization is that it can be customized to particular user groups and available across the many different visualization platforms that we have today, from smartphones and tablets to PCs, laptops, wireless and wired devices of all kinds, but just as importantly for different user groups. The Department of Natural Resources might want to look at fisheries and make sure that no boats are loitering in those fisheries, uh, but that are moving through unless they have the appropriate certifications and, and licenses. The Sheriff's Department might have responsibility for all boats at anchor or that are moored, just as the Coast Guard has responsibility uh, for ships that are in motion. Critical infrastructure plants tend to be located near the waterways themselves in order to take advantage of that particular resource. So in the example you're looking at, the Coast Point Liquid Natural Gas uh, Plant has its own security force and would like to know uh, which ships are docking at its terminal and who's coming up the bay uh, next so that they can manage that traffic as needs be. And the Calvert Cliffs Nuclear Power Plant, just three miles up from the Liquid Natural Gas Facility, is also monitoring its uh, maritime security very closely as well, even as normal day-to-day -day traffic, both uh, commercial and recreational, goes by their facility uh, with regularity. 
and the slide we're looking at now is extremely visual. And it talks about what we're doing to get this filtered, analyzed data about our environment to the end users that might have different needs along different timelines and so on. So if we go straight to the graphics here, when we look at the larger graphics there to the left, what we'll notice is all kinds of information can be made available. We can see a picture of a particular vessel uh, that has been registered uh, with, with both uh, public and uh, governmental uh, authorities so that we can get all kinds of information on its route, its history, its ports of call, its destination, even what it looks like off both public and regulatory sites. We can look at particular areas, uh, what we call AORs or geofences. The table you're looking at in that larger graphic actually can list all of the different vessels that are in view now and allow the end user to be able to manipulate that table to put data in order that's going to make sense to them. In the bottom left of the graphic, we see that we can zero in on a particular uh, vessel, uh, drill down on its course heading speed, its identity, and then you know be able to do a bit more with that. And that's a great interface that can be adjusted to different user groups to focus them on particular areas, particular types of vessels. You see in the blue box in the large graphic, there's lots of different layers that we can throw on there to make the information pop out a little better to them. Maybe they want to see satellite imagery. Maybe they're happy with maps. Maybe they want particular types of, of governmental supply geospatial uh, representations to help them filter out more data. But then on the right, you see a second smaller graphic. And the point there is that this very same system is being shown simultaneously and wirelessly on a laptop, on an iPad, on an Android tablet, on a BlackBerry Playbook, and on a number of smartphones simultaneously in different uh, size formats and in some cases in different data formats uh, so that it can meet the individual user's need not only for data but also for format, also for device, browser, operating system, and so on.